this is day three of of class and i'm playing hooky <laughs> All right, guys, so I just got off work and I am on my way to my first day of school. I'm so nervous, I but I don't have time to change into my purple scrubs. So I'm gonna go in in my black scrubs and hope that it is okay. So my hope for today is that one, I get my, um, sorry, trying to get in my car um my hope today is that i get my book is that i actually get my textbook so i can start to read and study and stuff like that when i'm at home but if i don't get my textbook today i hope that um there's one there that i could use or you know so i can at least start to learn something because i was told that on my first few days i won't be doing nails like i'm not gonna go in today and just start slapping acrylic on people so um today i'll probably just read go over the book and learn the rules and things like that of the school i'm supposed to be there i told him today i'll be there at seven i just got off work a little bit early it's almost six o'clock so i'll be there a little bit earlier than seven which is good because the way the program is set up it is a total of 240 hours you clock in you clock out and once the clock reaches 240 hours you are eligible to sit for the certification exam so every hour every extra hour every extra minute that i can get done i gotta put my seatbelt on um but every minute or hour that i can get done that just chips away at my 240 hours so if i can go in earlier than planned i'm just gonna try to get in I'm just gonna try to get in um but yeah typically I see patients until 6 p.m. 6 p.m. so you know sometimes I go over that sometimes I don't leave work until 6 30 and so the school closes at 8 so that's only gonna give me an hour on most days which is so annoying because my plan Okay, I'm at a stop sign. I can put my belt, my seatbelt on. My plan is to be in and out of this program in three months. I'm trying to be done in three months because, like, I got other goals for this year. You know what I'm saying? This was just one goal. Um, the sooner that I'm finished with this goal, the sooner I could work on my next goal, y'all. Like, you guys do not even know. 2019, I'm claiming it. It is my year. It is going to be super lit super lit i have so many things i want to do this year it's crazy like i just got so much motivation for this year it's just phenomenal phenomenal and if everything goes according to plan man oh my god like y'all y'all don't even know y'all do not even know but i'm gonna take you guys on my journey with me so those of you who are in um i was gonna say nursing school <laughs> I used to teach nursing, so it's like nursing, nursing, nursing on my brain all the time. But those of you who are in nail school with me, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below, like, hey, I'm going through the journey with you, or let me know that you're going to start soon, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to try to report every Monday, but don't hold me to it, girl, because um, life happens, and I might not get to post. There is the school right there putting on the tips I'm almost there so oh my god I hope I have a good first day I don't know why I'm nervous I'm always so freaking nervous all the time like what is wrong with you what is wrong with you Nikki like snap the hell out of it so I'm pulling into the parking lot and yeah I hope I have a good first day cross your fingers for me people pray for me that I have a good day <laughs> I'm such a dork I'm such a dork All right, guys, so I'm here. Look at my little book bag. Isn't this the cutest little book bag ever from Victoria's Secret? My trunk is a damn mess, y'all. Don't look at nothing else in this trunk but this book bag. Ain't that the cutest thing? 
It is so freaking adorable. All right, gotta go. All right, so come into the school with me, ladies. This is the nail station. This is where I'll be spending most of my time. It looks like a regular nail salon, right? Oh my goodness. And then over here is where you would get a pedicure. It looks like a regular pedicure station. Those are working chairs, so they are massage chairs. And then this is for the estheticians. So waxing and facials and things like that happen in this room. There's several of these kind of little esthetician type rooms. And then here is where the hair ladies do their thing. And it just set, it's set up like a regular salon. I freaking love it. All right, nail crew. So I am leaving school now, first day down. I had such an amazing first day. Such an amazing first day, guys. I was nervous and jittery for nothing. My teacher was awesome. The students that were in there were awesome and they all seem super nice and super helpful. I did get my book today, so that's great. I could go home and start studying. She said I could go ahead and play with my kid at home, so I'll do that probably tonight or tomorrow. Um, so basically today, she just gave me like the lay of the land, things to do when you first get there, things to do before you leave, and of course she gave me the amount of manicures, pedicures, gel sets, full sets, soak off, and all of that that you have to have before you can graduate. So there's a set number of things we have to do before we could sit for our certification exam. And um, yeah, she said we can start on those things as early as like our second day. So when I go in tomorrow, which will be day two, if I have anybody to do a pedicure on, she said I could go ahead and start their pedicure and then like boom, 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 get everything in and out and out the way. So I'm like super excited about that because I thought that I was gonna be in there for like a month or so before I could touch somebody, which for me would have been super annoying because I've already been doing nails. So it would have been kind of aggravating to start from scratch scratch. Um, but thank God I do not have to do that. So that's amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I was so nervous for nothing. And yeah, yeah. Day one went amazingly well. But as soon as I get home, I will show you guys my book and I will show you guys some of the stuff that she gave me today, okay? So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm finally home and I just have to show you guys this book. I'm so excited about a book. I know it's crazy. I know you guys are like, what, girl? You excited about a book? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, okay? And I know this is a common cosmetology book or nail technology book. So most of you have already seen this book or have purchased it on Amazon or something like that. Um, I'm going to show you guys chapter by chapter in another video. Otherwise, this video will be way too long, okay? But this is what the book looks like. Stay tuned for a chapter by chapter review. If you're into that kind of stuff, I got you, sis. I got you, all right? Boom. <laughs> The next thing I got, which I think is super cool, is this nail program skill sheet. So it has all the skills that I have to do and the way that the teacher wants me to do it. And it reminds me of when I was in nursing school and even when I was teaching nursing in our lab, we all had skill sheets like this. And, you know, it just breaks everything down step by step, supplies that you need and the order in which everything has to be done. And it just makes sure that you're doing it correctly. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. It does look a little bit overwhelming when you first look at it. So I know looking at it, I'm going to be like, oh my God, oh my God. But once I read it and kind of, you know, just remember it and really just digest what it's telling me to do, I'm sure that it's going to become like second nature and almost common sense. So I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm just going to just do the best that I can. And if I do some of this stuff at home, like when I'm practicing, I will record it for you guys so you can do it with me. All right, so another thing that I got was this student ID. So this card allows me to order professional products. So I can order from Tammy Taylor, I can order from Young Nails, I can go into the stores 
that have that big sign that says professionals only. I now have access to those stores. So I'm so excited. That brings me to my next thing that I got today. Bam, I got this salon centric membership card. Now this is a professional beauty partner store only. So you have to have a membership card, which means you have to be in a technology school, cosmetology school, or a professional. I also got this salon centric pamphlet. So the store is actually next door to my school. So like on my lunch break, I could walk over to Salon Centric and just browse and oh, my heart <laughs> just swells with glee when I'm in that store, guys. Y'all have no idea. But um, I'm going to see how they feel about me recording one day and I'll, you know, bring my phone in and kind of just do like a quick video of all the nail stuff that they have just so you guys can see what I'm talking about because even their poly gel even their poly gel is like super dope I think it's like $50 a tube guys okay like super elite stuff in there and it's just oh my god but they sell other stuff other than nails so obviously they have like a full salon products hair things and stuff like that so yeah, I have access to the store and it's next door, which makes it like, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing because I go over there on my lunch break, which is great, but then I feel like I'm going to spend all my money. Like they are going to take every single paycheck that I have. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So that's that. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to end day one here. Otherwise, we'll just be going on and on and on. I did get a couple other little pamphlets and books and things like that. But you know what? That's enough for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up, nail crew? I'm on my way to class. Second day of class. Second day. And I'm just excited as I was from day one but I'm just a little bit less nervous I think I'm going to be just slightly slightly nervous until I get the powder to monomer ratio down the way my teacher wants it because of course I can do it my way and I've been doing it my way forever but um you know when you're in school you have to do it the way the teacher wants you so I think I'm going to be on edge until I can figure that out um, once I get the hang of it and like all the specific rules and the ins and outs of the facility, then I think I'll be a little bit less nervous. But, but I am like 60% less anxious and nervous than I was yesterday. And as you can tell, I am wearing the purple scrubs. So yesterday I went in my black scrubs from work. Um, today I am like fully official. I have on my correct uniform and uh, I went home and I, um, added the stones and stuff back on my nail because I was like, I cannot be in nail school with all these beautiful women and all their beautiful nails. And here I go, the new girl with diamonds falling off her nails. Like I was like, no, that is way, way, way too tacky. So after work today, instead of going straight to school, I went home. I went home and I glued um, the rhinestones and stuff back on my nails. But this time I used my regular bling gel. I was like, forget that glue. That glue's for the birds. I can't do it. Some of y'all do it and it works out fine. Thumbs up to y'all. Uh, great. But for me, <laughs> it just doesn't work out. I'm too heavy handed. I'm too hands on. I do too many things with my hand. I'm in the gym, I'm at work, I put gloves on and off all day, I wash my hands all day. So all of those things kind of break down the glue a little bit. Yeah, the glue just doesn't work for me, long story short. So like I said, went home and added the bling gel and all my stones are back on, all of them. And I feel a lot better. <laughs> I feel a lot better so um at least this way when i get to class if someone asks me to see my nails i won't be like putting them in my pocket yesterday the instructor wanted to see my nails and she said i did a good job and she really liked them but i was kind of embarrassed because i was like Ugh, they look so tacky so today baby if somebody asks me to see my nails i'm gonna be like what these <laughs> these <laughs> Yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm headed to class and I will check in with you guys later. So today was very interesting because as soon as I got to school, my teacher made me get a pedicure, a spa pedicure. So it was totally relaxing 
and I loved it. So here's a picture of the girl doing my toes and it felt fantastic. And then shortly after this, one of the esthetician students asked to practice on waxing someone's eyebrows. So I volunteered and I got my eyebrows waxed and I must say it was great. All right, what are you about to do? <laughs> She's about to hook me up. All right, ladies, so day two went well. Another great day, thumbs up to that. It is very late and I'm tired, but I really wanna study because chapter one is all about dates and people and places and history, and I'm not good with that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna spend an hour studying before I go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up now, crew? Oh, my hair, I look a hot mess. I just got off work. Um, it's Wednesday. And I am not on my way to school, so this is not a school vlog. It is a, I gotta figure some shit out vlog. I gotta figure some shit out. So Monday, I went straight to school from work. Tuesday, I went straight to school from work. And by the time I got out of school um, at eight o'clock each day, by the time I got out of school, I was like done. I was tired. I was hungry. <laughs> I just went straight home and kind of got in the bed. So today I said, forget that. I am going to the gym. So yeah, I'm going to the gym. So I have to figure some shit out, guys. I got to figure it out because I work full time. And then when I leave work and I go to school, by the time I get home, I barely want to cook and eat dinner, let alone work out. But I have several goals this year, okay? I have 12 goals, which is typically what I do at the beginning of the year. I set 12 goals, one per month. And I've already established the first goal, which was to start school. But I, I have other goals, and one of them is to maintain my health and my fitness and to go to the gym regularly and to eat clean like I've been trying to do. But I can't let school jeopardize my other goals. So I gotta figure some shit out so that I don't just engulf myself in school and become like obsessed with school and then I let my other goals just go to shit. You know what I'm saying? So today, I am just like, okay, no school for me today. I'm going to go work out, and then I'm going to study for a test. It is, what time is it? It is almost 6.30 at night. So by the time I leave the gym and get home, it's already going to be 8.30, 9 o'clock, shower, do some nail videos. Now it's 11 o'clock. Not even considering the fact that I got to eat. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to just, you know, create a schedule and just stick to it. Wow. It, this just, Wow, it is packed. Like, there's no place for me to park. Come on, guys. Like, come on. My Thursday back this week, and I have to park, like, way down here. But anyway, guys, yeah, so this is not a nail vlog. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not a nail school vlog, but I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know your girl got to figure some shit out. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've been in school. I mean, this is day three of, of class. And I'm playing hooky. <laughs> I'm playing hooky. Yeah, I hope my teacher doesn't see this video. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. It's okay. As long as I get my hours and things like that, it'll be fine. But yeah, I just really had to work out. I really had to work out. I took my pre-workout today um, about an hour ago, and it is kicking in, and I'm like hype. Is my armpit sweating? Look, I'm starting to sweat in my armpits. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm about to throw a scarf on my hair, and I'm working out in my work clothes. Who gonna say something? Who? <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it. I'm about to head into the gym, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I will vlog again tomorrow, and tomorrow will be a school-related vlog. So see you tomorrow. What's up now, crew? God, I look such a hot mess. What's up, guys? I am on my way to school. Last night's workout was 
amazing. It's day four and I don't really have any expectations for today. I think I plan on just reading my book and meeting the rest of the girls. I'm so nervous right now because and I don't know why I'm nervous because I'm done I could just breathe but whew. okay so I'm leaving school right now I'm heading to work on Thursdays I go to work a little bit later so I have an opportunity to come to class before I go to work okay so that's what I'm doing now but I just took my first chapter exam and I'm so nervous because, I mean, I'm, this is my third day of school. And I was like, there's no way I remember the whole chapter. It's all on dates and people. So it's basically a history lesson. And I'm not good at remembering names. And I'm not good at remembering dates. So I didn't want to take the test because I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to fail it. So I literally was going back and forth with the teacher like please just let me take it on Monday because literally you just take you study the book you take the test when you feel like you are ready um but she was like no I think you could do it I think you could do it I was like what <laughs> so um it was 45 questions and I ended up getting a 91 do y'all hear me do you hear me a whole 91 a whole ass 91 what oh my gosh like let me just paint the picture okay so i walk into class i'm studying a little bit and she's like okay you read the chapter i'm like yes she said okay take the test i was like reading the chapter and studying are two different things i'm not ready she was like no just take it just take it i'm like what oh my god okay okay so boom she gives me the test and I sit down and I'm looking at the first five questions. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. I know this. Boom, boom. Like literally in my head, I'm like, bam, bam, bam. I got this. First five, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. Next five, I'm like, mm, I got to think about it. And then somewhere in the middle, they start asking me about the Renaissance and the Middle Ages and what was used to make tools and when did they start making the first nail polish and the airbrush and all this stuff and what who in Egypt did the something by the Nile River and the, I was like ah <laughs> what oh and then I was like oh shit then my confidence kind of took a tank and I'm like oh my god so <laughs> I ended up just circling the ones that I knew I got wrong. I was like, let me just help her out because I know I got these wrong. So literally, I answered the questions. I'm sorry, hold on. Let me fix this. I'm trying to get like some of the glare out, guys. I'm sorry. So literally, I answered the questions and then I circled the ones that I knew I got wrong because I was like, look, let me just help you out. Let me help you out, Miss Teacher, because... um. It don't make no sense. I waste my time and yours. So I just went to circling what I got wrong. And then somewhere at the end, I was like, oh, okay, bam. They put some questions in here that I know. So I was like, oh my God, thank the Lord for these. So I was like, all right. I looked at the test one more time. I took a deep breath and I just turned it in. I just turned it in. 45 questions. Boom. Done in like 20 minutes. Here, take this, get it out my face. <laughs> so I gave her the test and I'm like, I already graded it for you. <laughs> I already circled the ones I got wrong. So here you go. And she started laughing. It was a multiple test question off to the side of one of the questions. I wrote a freaking essay answer because I was like, look, this is a trick question. <laughs> she was like, what is this? I was like, well, <laughs> according to what I read, blah, blah, blah. And so she said, all right. So she took the test in a whole different room to grade it. So now I'm just sitting there like, and she took a long time to grade it. It probably was like two seconds, but to me, it felt like half an hour because you know, I'm just anxious and I already know that I failed. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be so embarrassed because it's other women in this class and they're gonna, you know, hear that I failed. So she takes the test over in the other room, she's grading it and I'm just like, oh my God. So I go back to my book 
and I'm digging through the pages and I find things that I got right but then I also found some stuff that I got wrong and I was like oh goodness gracious oh my god so then she comes out the room and she says come here come here let me go over the test with you I was like ah oh, shit I said I'll just take it I said I'll retake it Monday don't worry because I just knew I failed so I was like I got I, I'll retake it Monday it's fine um, she was like, no, you passed, you passed. But she was talking so low and so like, like, I don't know. Like, I just got the vibe that I failed. So she was like, no, you passed. And then, so she said, I passed. I was like, okay. I said, damn, I probably passed by one. I was like, shoot, I probably got like the bare minimum. That's why she's trying to keep it on the hush, hush, hush. So I don't get embarrassed. She's just like, yeah, you got a 91. I said, I don't know if you can get a, the teacher fives. I don't know if you can get a teacher's five, but yo, bam, I gave her like a five, like five times. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so I was so excited, like, for real, for real, I did not expect to pass that test for so many different reasons. For so many reasons. One, because I'm not good with names and dates and places and history. I get lost in Ocala and I live here. So, hello. So that's the first reason. Second reason is I was up till 3.30 in the morning because I have insomnia. So I studied last, well, this morning at like 2 a.m. But I was like, shoot, what if I studied and, you know, I didn't retain it because I was so tired. So like everything was going through my head. And then, oh, and then. So in my palm of my hand, I was taking notes from my video. Not, nothing to do with the test. Nothing to do with the test at all. But this is um, notes from when I posted my video. So I posted a video at like 2 a.m. After I post the video, I like to go back and watch it and take notes so that I could add it to the description box. Like certain things I would say like, oh, this is a cute color. I'm going to put it in the description box. So when I hear that, it cued me. And I just wrote it on my palm of my hand because I didn't have paper at my bedside. So I was like, oh, shit, she's going to see a handful of writing and think that I'm trying to cheat. So I'm like, great. Now I'm taking the test. I'm nervous. I got a handful of writing. I'm like trying to keep this hand in my pocket. It was like, it was just too many things going on at once. And so that's why I thought like so many things was working against me and I was not going to do good. <sighs> but <sighs> I just feel so good. Even after she told me I passed, I was still shaking and I was still jittery. Why? I don't know. I'm just like that. I'm just like that. It was, but anyway, <sighs> I went to school. I took my test. I was only there for an hour today. So, boom, in and out. And now I am on my way to work. So, anyway, guys, that concludes my first week of nail school. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm just over the moon right now. I'm over the moon. I'm about to have a great day at work. Like, even if I get some annoying, aggravating behind patients today... I'm not going to let them steal my joy at all. Thank you guys for rocking with me this whole week. Hey, hey, uh, 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 uh. I'm so happy y'all like, I'm like, you don't even know, like nothing could steal my joy today. And oh my God, I, I really need to go wash my hands and I never, I'm never going to do this again. I'm never doing this again before a test because I... What would I have done if she saw my hands and thought that I was trying to cheat? Like, my life will be over. Yep, my life will be over. I'd probably just roll over right there on the floor. <laughs> anyway, don't forget, guys, I do have a new IG page that's all about nails. So you can follow me at Nails by Nikki P. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you liked my first week of school. Oh, my God it's over my first week is over i can't believe it it came and went so freaking quickly all right guys here are some videos that you could watch next keep in touch and i'll see you on my next vlog on monday